Juan, would you go to a show? Once, uh, once, like not again. This is the third time you guys. It's like you guys stay too. over there. I'll stay over here. I'm just on the key wall. <laughs> I would. Just, well, I would. you know what? I'm just on the mic. You know. Does let's, it make you feel safer question. knowing that Juan that I'm, others were tested going to a show like that? I, I think I would, but of course I'd still use precaution. Absolutely. Precaution as well. So. Yeah. Well, there you go. Let us know if you let us know uh, if you yeah. if you go and let us know everybody what your comments are on our right, Facebook page. There you go. All right, we're taking a live look at our six weather bug off in the uh, Kingsville area. We're seeing a little bit of fog out there. It's looking at just a tad bit dense uh, out in that region, but you can still see traffic flowing smoothly out there. As we look at the rainfall amounts, we are in desperate need of some rain across the region. Of course, none yesterday. We could see a spotty sprinkle or two uh, as we head on into the latter part of the weekend for us, but it's not going to be a whole lot. And of course, none yesterday for the year 22.88, and we are now officially over six inches in a deficit as far as rainfall is concerned. As we take a quick look at the lake levels, this is as of yesterday. Lake Corpus Christi is currently sitting at 54.3, Choke Canyon at 36.3. That is a combined capacity at 41.3%. Now compared to last year, we usually do compared to yesterday, but I think it was a bit more of a, something to see from last year's terms. Last year we're at 55.8 and uh, Lake Texana, I should say, is holding steady at 93.8. Take a quick look at the tropics right now. We have post-tropical Ada that's out there. Of course, we still watch the hurricane season. This goes until the end of November and tropical storm Theta way out here in the uh, far eastern Atlantic. And there's another little disturbance that's moving into the Caribbean and that should continue to move off towards the west and hopefully not bother a whole lot of folks and uh, stay out of people's way. But we'll continue to watch that fairly closely. Back here at home, we're at 70 degrees, another mild and muggy start to the day. The temperatures are holding on to the mid 70s near the coastline, a bit of a, a mild and warm start near the uh, coast, but into the mid to upper 60s for our inland folks. So for today here in Corpus Christi, it's going to be another great day, a little bit more cloud coverage, but it's still going to be warm with an afternoon high of 84 degrees with those east southeasterly winds 7 to 14. And by tonight, those temperatures will drop into the upper 60s. I should say by tomorrow morning, 69 degrees there, mild and muggy with light winds. So as we take a look at the wind forecast later on this afternoon, we'll continue to hold on to those east southeasterly winds again 7 to 14. Not bad calming down once again. <laughs> you don't want to know what these guys are doing here in the studio. They're just being funny and uh, light winds once again to start off tomorrow morning and then by the afternoon a little bit more of a breeze on Saturday, but no notice more of a southerly component to the wind still going at about 8 to about 16 miles per hour. There's the extra cloud coverage across the region and again some of that is fog for our inland folks. We have high pressure that is anchored off into the Gulf of Mexico, so we still got a good tap of moisture coming in this frontal boundary up to the north. That's where that is going to stay and wait for this next frontal boundary that will arrive here on Sunday. Notice the cloud coverage for us here it stays with us into the afternoon on Saturday as well. More clouds, but still a good amount of sunshine. And then on Sunday, that's when we'll see a few isolated showers coming into the region. So a quick look at the seven day forecast. Once that front comes in on Sunday, isolated showers, more seasonal Monday and Tuesday. All right, Juan, thank you so much.